All right, gang, stat 1800, different types of variables and measurements. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but I want to, uh, well, I need to um, introduce you to different types of classifications for measurements. So we're going to dive into it a little bit deeper than just categorical and quantitative. So let's see what's up. Uh, up to now, we've, uh, we've kind of looked at uh, classifying data as either being categorical or quantitative. And what I've done here is I have um, uh, given you some uh, uh, examples of the two. Okay, so we're going to move into four scales. Uh, again, breaking down a little bit uh, in more detail, uh, categorical and quantitative measurements. So the two breakdowns in categorical are nominal data and ordinal data. Both are categorical, but nominal data has no natural ordering. Uh, that would be something like uh, political affiliation, uh, religious affiliation, uh, gender, something like that. Ordinal data is a categorical ranking, uh, I'm sorry, a categorical variable that has a natural ordering. <clears throat> now, something, uh, an example of ordinal data may be um, uh, uh, academic classification, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, because uh, of the obvious ranking that, that's tied into the number of credits that you, that you have completed. Uh, military rank would be something that's categorical, uh, that has uh, a natural ordering. Now, transitioning into quantitative variables, uh, interval and ratio data are both quantitative. And these are a little bit more complicated than the nominal and ordinal data. Uh, for example, interval data, which is quantitative, um, expresses the difference between measurements, but has no true zero value. More about that in just a second. Ratio data uh, examines differences between measurements, but it has a true zero existence. So uh, let's think about this uh, a little bit more. Again, nominal scale, strictly categorical, no natural ordering. So calculating the mean, the median, the standard deviation, all this stuff that we're getting ready uh, to learn uh, in the next couple of videos uh, would be uh, useless. Okay. So blood type, zip code, gender, race, so on and so forth, uh, would be nominal scale. <clears throat> Ordinal, again, there's a natural ordering. <clears throat> Nevertheless, it's categorical, so calculating the mean, the median standard deviation, uh, would be meaningless. So I've given you some examples there. Uh, socioeconomic status is one of the... Um, kind of go-tos as an example of ordinal scale data. Uh, interval, uh, the, 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 the key component of defining interval scale is kind of twofold. First of all, it's uh, definitely quantitative, but no true score of zero exists. A body temperature of zero doesn't mean absence of temperature. It's just a scale uh, within the measurement. An SAT score, uh, uh, if, if you miss all uh, of the questions, I'm, uh, I've been told that you will get uh, a 200. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've been told. Uh, and a credit score, um, uh, if you have a credit score of zero, uh, well, I hope you don't because that, that, that's not good. But it doesn't mean that it's an absence of credit score. It's just uh, based on the measurement, the scale of measurement. It's an extremely low uh, credit score. Now, compare that with ratio. Ratio is also quantitative, but a true score of zero is meaningful. Okay, dose amount. If we give, uh, you know, zero you know, milliliters or something, then we're giving no uh, uh, amount of that medication. Reaction time. Reaction time of zero means nothing happened. A, reaction, uh, a pulse of zero, a weight of zero, a length of zero, survival time of zero indicates a true value of zero, indicating that, uh, uh, I guess we would say, absence of value. So that's really the only trick between, between <clears throat> understanding the two quantitative variables uh, two, two quantitative scales in ratio and interval is to examine the um, uh, impact uh, uh, of a true score of zero. Well, it's not the impact, but uh, the existence of a true score of zero and if it is meaningful. So uh, 
in your notes, you need to, um, I wouldn't put a lot of emphasis on this, but uh, definitely get down the four scales, uh, nominal, ordinal, uh, uh, ratio, and uh, interval, and um, uh, the, the, the basic differences of, uh, of the four. So test your understanding. You have some uh, things going on, on the screen there, favorite candy bar, weight of luggage, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what do you think? What would these four be? All right, pause uh, the video if you want. Write it down. Correct answer, nominal. Favorite candy bar has no natural ordering, so it's just strictly categorical. Weight of luggage, the value of zero means you would have zero weight, so it does mean something. Uh, year of birth is categorical uh, because there's a natural ordering. And egg size, small, medium, large, extra large, uh, categorical, but there is a natural ordering. Uh, one more test your understanding. I kind of gave the uh, first one away, right, earlier in uh, the video. So if you were paying attention, that one should be uh, super easy. So again, what's the answer? Uh, ordinal, military rank, because it's categorical, but, uh, you know, a general is clearly outranking a private. Uh, number of children in a family would be ratio because zero actually means something. Zero would mean absence of children. Uh, Jersey numbers completely nominal. Uh, no ordering there. Uh, it's just really a placeholder. And then shoe size. Uh, if you have a shoe size of zero, it doesn't mean that you have no foot or no shoe size. It means it's just based on the the scale of measurement, uh, you are given a shoe size of zero. All right, gang. Uh, final thing. Take a look. Uh, categorical, numerical, breaks into nominal, ordinal. And then you can see that I've put a little bit of a twist into the numerical component uh, where we look at discrete and continuous as we've um, uh, talked about previously. Again, not to beat a dead horse, but a numerical discrete measure is a count. A numerical continuous measure uh, is a measurement. So tattoo that one to the brain.